back in 2010, the Iowa Arts Council hosted an RFQ for the Iowa Department of Corrections. The Iowa Department of Corrections was building a new prison in Mitchellville, uh, which was a state-funded project. Anytime you have a state-funded project, you have to initiate the Percent for Art program. In this particular case, half of a percentage point of the construction budget was allocated for public art. Uh, the unique part about the project was the fact that we would be using the Iowa prison industries and the offenders uh, and their labor. The nature of whatever needs to be done, IPI finds a way to create it and do it. So we, we go in and we get the, the talents and the skills that a lot of, a lot of other agencies or, or companies don't get and have the inmates reach inside and develop those skills. Some of them have responded real well. They understand the importance of a project that's this, that's this big for IPI. And with the average stay here of only six months, there's been a lot of people that have had their hands on it. It's been helpful to a lot of guys. In 2011, I turned it into CAD files. When I got here in 2013, a couple years later, started working on a prototype. Uh, and then there was a lot of visits uh, to the facilities where we would look at the work uh, and say, no, you know, that right now it's built like this and we really need it to do this. Um, or how do we hide a joint in a place where it's not going to be seen. Uh, and so a lot of those details were, were worked through during construction. So it was a pretty lengthy uh, time of construction. Once they started making the final, I helped the boys on the floor roll the parts that weren't done in Anamosa some of the parts were done in Anamosa that couldn't be done here. And then together with the welders, we welded it up, got it painted in these big booths we have. And then last year in October, took a bunch of them down and installed them. Everybody wound up taking a great deal of, of uh, pride in the project. And that was probably the most satisfying to hear some of these offenders talk about what they did and why they were so proud of it. And uh, everybody was very happy, including TJ and I, in terms of the uh, final results. There's something very free about the ribbon, free-flowing, uh, that I think is a really terrific uh, symbol as you uh, arrive and leave the facility. It took a lot of creative thinking on staff and inmates part to, to visually see the concept and the shapes that they needed to, to actually make the ribbon flow that the way they wanted it to flow. It's quite a sense of pride, especially with a project where you can see it from beginning to end. And having been in fabrication before I came to prison, this is just going to give me a new set of tools for when I get out. Without programs like this, they'd just be picking up litter in the yard and you're not going to learn much from that. Yeah, well, it's one of the things that IPI prides itself on is, is teaching these inmates the usable skills in a trade that there is a demand for out there. Right now in the industry, there's quite a demand for metal fabrication and welding. So giving them the diversity, not only of what they do on a daily basis, but to work on this project like they did and learn to work with special material doing a special project gives them a lot of good job skills and, and potential for future employment. The main thing that I hope is that they all take this and go out there and become successful and they don't return to prison. They use the skills that they've learned here to better themselves and help their families and, and everybody along the way. You drive down the entrance road in a curving, undulating uh, roadway past these ribbons. So they change all the time. As you move along, they become long and thin and then they become elongated and they compact again as you uh, travel past them and look behind. So they're always uh, changing as you move through the landscape and, and view them from different angles. The fact that public art is at the entrance uh, as well as at the exit, uh, I think is real significant uh, symbology that uh, it, there's, a, there's a sense of caring, uh, a, a deeper level of, of commitment uh, to uh, these people and what they can be in the future.